Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Sunday, March 31st, 2024. I hope you are okay and I pray that as we read this morning, that you will be blessed. I hope your families are in good health and I hope that you are holding on in spite of the challenges that we face each day that you will never give up. Amen. Our reading this morning comes to us from Revelation chapter 2 and we will read from verses 12 to 17. And it says, And to the angel of the church in Pergamos writes, These things said he that had the sharp sword with two edges. I know thy works, and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is. And thou holdest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith, even in those days wherein Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. But I have a few things against thee, because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols, and to commit fornication. So hath thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nic Nicolaitans, which things I hate. Repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, saving he that receiveth it. And I say, Amen. Now we are on the third church, the church of Pergamos. What does this church Pergamos mean? It means citadel. Now the church was becoming coal and there were some faithful members who did not worship satanic gods. However, many began to indulge into idol worship and sexual immorality. So they were kind of breaking away from what was right. Now this church, now this time period for Pergamos is from AD 313 to AD 538. This was the time that the papacy won religious and to some extent political leadership of Western Europe. The papacy was a skillful blend of paganism and Christianity and it was Constantine that joined the church and state and, and ended persecution. So it was during the time of Constantine that that really happened. Now this church is known for its self-centeredness, sophistication, pride, and legalism. It is from this church that most like offshoot movement was created from. So that is why you have so many different denominations and stuff like that. Some of that came out of this time period also. Now there were some members however who remained faithful and they hold fast to the biblical teaching. This is the traditional and the conservative church. So in verse 13 of this chapter, the church is commended for holding fast to their faith in Christ even in the face of great persecution and where the city is located which is the throne of Satan. So it means therefore that a lot of ungodly things are taking place at that location, right? So after the commendation then a rebuke is given that there are some in the church who are what, teaching the things of Balaam or leading the people into idolatry 
and immorality. That's what Balaam did, right? So, in other words, they were compromising the principles of the church with pagan practices. And that is just a no-no. God don't play that. So, the Lord called them out in verse 16 saying that what? They have to repent or else he's going to come with what? Judgment and what? They should turn from their false teaching and practice. Who you see? He not just come with the judgment, you know. He give the warning before he acts. And then it goes on in verse 17 finally to say that what? If they remain faithful and if they overcome all of these challenges, that they will receive the hidden manna, symbolizing substance and provision and white stone with a new name written on it, which is symbolizing what? Acceptance and a new identity in Christ. So what is the passage ultimately saying when you combine everything? It is saying that what? The church in Pergamum is to remain faithful amidst the persecution and that it warns, he warns against false teaching and practices and call for repentance and a promise of blessing to those who overcome. Amen. So may we remain steadfast and may we continue to remain faithful because one of these days we will receive a crown of victory. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Amen.